the fall of man. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord has made. The Bible begins the story of the fall of man with the serpent. The serpent symbolized or symbolizes the devil in the Bible. The Bible likened the nature of the devil to the serpent. The Bible mentioned this, uh, a similar word called Leviathan or dragon in Isaiah 27 and uh, Psalm 74 and uh, Revelation 12. We shall look at it after this Genesis 3, the fall of man, when man acquired the nature of the serpent, when mankind acquired the nature of the serpent through Adam and Eve. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God has made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. At this, the serpent was telling Eve that did God say you should not eat of any tree? Whereas it was only one tree that God said they should not eat. But he said his, the serpent started, started his uh, conversation with Eve with a lie. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman, and the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. And ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. God has said that if they eat of the tree, he shall surely die. And that is a spiritual death. That spiritual death is like when you remove the plug of an electrical appliance from the socket. The, the current and the functioning of the electrical appliance begin to die. That is how we are to God. We must constantly plug into, into the socket of God. But the serpent said, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. At this, he lied to them that they will become like gods. Whereas in Jesus Christ said, Ye are gods. And even Genesis said that uh, we were created in the image and likeness of God. So Satan was, uh, was able to deceive Eve through her ignorance. She was she and Adam were going to become what were going to become what the serpent said that God does not want them to be. Jesus Christ said, ye are gods. And, but they did not wait for God's training, tutorship, and mentorship. And serpent said, for God doth know, know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves 
A prompts. Some people have said that well, uh, Adam and Eve they were naked and they were not ashamed. Were well, they in the in the state of innocence that animals were, or were they covered by a light, an angelic light which covered their nakedness? But I would believe that even though they were naked and they were not ashamed. God was bringing them up. I believe that they were not supposed to be in that position of nakedness forever. But they did not wait for their physical and spiritual maturity. They were running faster than God. And the eyes of them both were opened. And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Even in the, in, in the book of Revelation, the saints wore white garments. White garments. So that they would not be naked. So why Adam and Eve could not wait for God to wear them with their white garments. And verse 8, and they hear the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden. And they hear the voice of the, Lord, of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of God, from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Where art thou? And he said, I hear thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. That is, the devil did not deceive Adam. The devil deceived Eve. For Adam they decided to partake of the sin of, her, of his beloved. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did it. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art caused above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go, and thus shall thou eat all the days of thy life. At least uh, some scholars have said that before the cause, the, the serpent had limbs, but God now caused him. That is when the devil entered the serpent and uh, the, the, the devil spoke through the serpent to Adam, and, to Adam and Eve. But when the devil became a serpent and spoke to Adam and Eve. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, Above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shall thou go, and thou and dust shall thou eat all and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. On the physical realm. It's just as if uh, uh, the, the, the snake will be the most dangerous, most hated animal by man, by mankind. And uh, he will bite a man, and a man will use a stick to break his head. But it runs deeper than that. The woman's seed was explained further in Genesis and 12. The woman's seed is Jesus Christ. And the dragon 
want to destroy Jesus Christ in uh, Revelation 12. So when the, uh, it is very, very important when we take our understanding from the interpretation of scriptures. So I will put an enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed, thy seed, which is the devil, and her seed, which is Jesus Christ. He shall bruise thy head. Jesus Christ will bruise the head of the serpent, and thou shalt bruise his heel. He wounded Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Can read, read John 8 44, Acts 13 10, 1 John 3 8, Isaiah 7 14, Matthew 1 23, Revelation 12 17, Romans 6 20, and Hebrews 2 14. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multi multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. That is the origin origin of uh, pain origin of pain during a uh, childbirth and unto Adam and unto Adam unto the woman he, he said I will, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto, unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, thou shalt not eat, thou shalt not eat of it. Cost is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. That is the origin of drudgery, hard labor for mankind. That he has to sweat with vigorous labor before he can get his daily bread. Thorns also and teeth too shall he bring forth unto thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Thou tongues and tissues can be also be likened like problems, problems which man shall be facing. Even Jesus Christ talked about the cares of this world that can choke the, the world. The case of this world, you can check that in Matthew 13. It is about why they should. We are wrong. A Joe. We see, we see, Tom Adam at the Epa Otomo J. He wa a Joe. Me, ah, it should be war. That's if you're entity D. Oh, dear me. If you keep it a battery, a woman, a joe, no party, a me. Kishiti para nekon. A battery, a joe. Ah, is she just satan in me? Oh, the new da, or is she a sin? Sile. That if he a me, a joe, a me, she me. The nature of the serpent, the nature of the devil is the nature of the serpent. He created all false religions. So all false religions are serpentine religions. All false religions, whether paganism, whatever it is, that has it, or the other one that have the appearance of Christianity, whatever it is, they are all false religions serpentine religions in the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground for out of it was thou taken for dust thou art and, and unto dust shall thou return and adam called that is the origin of a mortality 
and Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord make coats of skin and clothe them. God must have killed an animal and shed his blood in order to clothe Adam, in order to, in order to clothe his and shame and nakedness. Olorun pa eran o si ta ije sile ki to le se awo ti o fi bo ihoho ati itiju Adam ati Eva. And the Lord said, behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. So God will not want man who has now acquired the image and likeness of the devil to eat the tree of life. He will become a demon here on earth because he is yet to be saved. He is yet to be redeemed. And why should they live forever on it? If man in their holy state live forever on this earth, this earth will become like hell. Become like hell fire. Allah only jeki I want you to shubu ni no emi ki won je igi iye ti o fun won ni emi aiko nitori pe nigba ti won wa ni epo ese ti won wa ki ba je eso emi eso igi aiko yen won ma ma gbe laye titi lai lai ni won ni ku mo so won da bi awon ehun abi ebora lori ile aye ile aye igan wa da bi orun apadi tori na nitori fun anfani won ni olorun olorun si ti le won jade ti o je ki won je igi eh iye igi aiko and the lord said behold the man is become as one of us to know good and evil and now lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way out of the tree of life. So God placed angels, cherubims, in the garden and a flaming sword to prevent man from coming back. To come and take the tree of life so they will not eat the tree of life in their fallen state and live forever may god increase our understanding in jesus name amen amen